What's up everyone, my name is Firebrand, welcome back to another video on the channel. I just want to put this little tidbit in this video before I, uh, before y'all started watching and then before the video started. This was originally, this video was originally supposed to be up like two, maybe three days ago, but, uh, it was unknowingly recorded in a format that I didn't realize I was using. I thought I was using MP4, and, uh, the video was recorded in something called MKV, which I didn't even know existed until I checked the recording, I couldn't play it back. So, uh, yeah, you might see some chops and weird stuff here and there, because it was converted, but you shouldn't, other, other than that, you shouldn't really see anything wrong with the video. Just want to say that before this video started, so, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I will see you later. Fire brand out. Take it away, pass me. So, Hell at Loose is one of my favorite, uh, first-person shoot games right now. Uh, it has been since I got it on console, and I've also really been loving it on PC as well. Uh... It's probably one of my favorite FPS games of all time. I just have an insane amount of fun on it, and uh, I really like the game, and I can't wait to see where the new uh, production team behind it takes the game. I know in June we're getting the uh, the Brits with, at the very least, El Alamein, and I think we're getting Holland either sometime in June or sometime after June. And then in uh, December we're getting not only the uh, the Winter War, which I had I, I did not expect that at all, and I'm incredibly hyped for that. But we're also getting the Battle of Free Danzig, which is basically the start of World War II, which is going to be insanely cool to see. You don't hardly ever see the Polish forces in action in, you know, mainline World War II FPS games. The only game I can think about that, I, and it's not even a mainstream game, it's an indie game called uh, Land of War that really didn't do too hot from what I've heard. But anyway, back to the tier list. So uh, this is going to be ranking all the guns in Hell Let Loose. There will be, uh, I think, three exceptions to this. Uh, well... We're not going to be ranking the uh, rocket launchers, bazookas, whatever you want to call them. I know the pen, there it is, there's a pen strike. We will not be ranking the pistols. Uh, I, I just don't use pistols often. I, I don't use classes that use pistols. I've used them maybe twice. And I just don't really have a good feel for them. And let's be honest here. If you're using a pistol in Hell Let Loose, you probably aren't surviving for very long. I think the only role that has a, a pistol, or the only roles that have pistols are officers, commanders, tank crew, and medics. Four classes out of the entire game with 15-ish classes, I think. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right on to this. Starting off with Browning 1919. Um, a very top of good tier. Uh, do I want to put this in awesome tier? Yeah, I do. I do want to, uh, The Browning 1919 is the U uh, U.S. standard uh, machine gun for the machine gunner class. That's the only class that can use it. Uh... It has a 250 round ammo belt, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's 250 rounds on it. And, uh, it has, a, it had, like, for the amount of ammo you get, it has a really good fire rate, and you can make that belt last, you know, 5-10 minutes if you're selective with what you shoot at. Uh, amazing weapon for suppression, and, uh, it has a really nice sound, really good iron sights, and, uh, I believe it's a one-shot at 150 meters and below that. So, if you hit someone, uh... Up at 150 meters, you're gonna basically kill them immediately. Next up is the dinner plate, the DP27. <laughs> low playable tier, and uh, there are several reasons why. One, it has, I believe, the worst recoil of any bipoded uh, machine gun in the game. Uh, it's way more bouncy, and uh, you just can't, it's harder to land shots. Which goes into my next point, the iron sights. The iron sights on this thing are god-awful. Some of my least favorite iron sights in the game. Uh, if you've ever seen uh, the DP-27 sights in PUBG, for example, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Same thing with uh, World of War from COD. If you've seen the DP-27 iron sights, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Bouncy recoil plus those sights, not exactly a good time. Uh, it has a, f I want to say it's a 47 round drum, or pan thing on the top of it, hence the name dinner plate. Uh, so you can only fire it for... I don't know, like, 20, 30 seconds sustained, probably not even that, before you have to reload. It has a, I mean, like, it, the reload isn't as long as the other machine guns on this list, but you have to do it more often since you have a 47-round pan on the top of the gun. That, and you only get it on, like, three maps of the game. You get it on Kursk, Stalingrad, and uh, Kharkov, so, I mean, why would you, why, why, why? The FG-42 Infantry, uh... I don't have this on console, but from from my limited exposure to this thing on PC, uh, mid range, it's okay. Close range, it's an absolute demon. Far range, you're better off tap firing. 
I'm putting a high good tier. Good, really good fire rate. This might be the highest fire rate weapon that isn't a machine gun in the game. Or, you, you know what I mean, like a medium machine gun, like a deployable machine gun. Uh, I believe it's the highest fire rate weapon in the game. I could be wrong about that. I think the PPSH actually beats it out by a lot. But, uh, <clears throat> second, fi second highest firing rate in the game. Uh, of course, it fires a millimeter Mauser. And calibers do slightly matter in this game, although it isn't explicitly, you know, said what calibers guns use, but they use their real life counterparts. Like, they, they are basically like one to one for the most part of, you know, the real life gun. Fires 8mm Mauser. I don't know what the uh, kill range is on the German weapons with, that fired the rifle round. I believe it's the same as the American weapons and the Soviet weapons. Uh, 150 and below is a one shot kill. Don't hold that to me, though. But, uh,. Amazing sights. These are probably are some of my favorite sights in the game, if not my favorite. They're fighting it out with the uh, M1 Garand and the uh, Grease Gun. But uh, I really like the FG42 Infantry, and I can't wait to unlock it on console. The FG42 Scoped, I have not unlocked yet, because I am not a sniper. I have horrible aim with snipers, and yeah. The Gewehr 43. The reason my uh, Rifleman class is so far ahead of the other classes in Hello Loose on both PC and console is because of this thing right here. Uh, I'm putting a good tier. Uh... So, when I first started out Hell Let Loose, I hated the car. Both PC and console, I hated the car. Uh, I hated the sights. I just could not do good with the thing at all. It's, it's the main reason I took, more than anything, an MP40 or an STG into combat. But, as time's go gone on, I've liked the 98K more, but we'll get out of here in a second. The Gewehr 43 is basically a semi-automatic car, and I know I'm oversimplifying that a ton, but that's basically what I can describe it as. Uh, you have really, uh, I wouldn't say really nice, you have usable sights. I'm personally not a huge fan of the, uh, Gewehr's iron sights. But, uh, same one-shot kill radius as the FG and the, uh, Car 98, as far as I'm aware. Uh, it does have more recoil, but that does come with it being a semi-automatic weapon instead of a bolt-action weapon. And with the Car 98K, you're gonna have, you know, just a, a tiny little kick instead of, you know, the Gewehr 43 is, you know, vroom, whenever you shoot it. Uh, but quick reloading, uh, it kind of sucks that you have to get to, uh, Rifleman level 6 to unlock the Gewehr, but I guess it is what it is. But all in all, it's a really good pick, and it has way more utility in close range than the car does. The car, if you get stuck in close range and you miss your first shot with the car, or you're going up against more than, like, one guy, you're probably screwed. But the Gewehr, you have a fighting chance. Which brings us into our next gun, the Car 98K. The gun I hated with all my passion... Uh, at the beginning of me playing Hell Let Loose, uh, this game, this gun is going very high, good tier. And let me explain why it's above the Gewehr, even though I said I hated this gun first. So, whenever I started this playing this game at first, I was coming off of games like Call of Duty, uh, Siege, Battlefield. I, I was coming off of games being aggressive, rushy playstyle. You can't do that with the car. The car is a bolt action rifle, has a five round magazine on it, or clip. Mag it, magazine, internal, internal magazine, you reload with clips. <laughs> uh, still not the biggest fan of the sights, though. The sights are probably my most iffy sights in the game. Sometimes I'm pinpoint accurate with them, and I can nail someone out at, like, 300 with no problem at all. Other times I can't hit someone 10 feet in front of me. Uh, it's a bolt action, so it has a slower fire rate than basically everything in the game, except for the 91, but we'll get that here in a second, or here in a minute. Uh... It has the full power of the 8 mil Mauser, so you're going to, uh, again, unless it's a pistol, I'm just going to say this right now, unless it's a pistol and caliber firing uh, gun in this game, it's going to probably be able to kill up to 150 meters and under. Just going to point that out for every one of these guns, save the uh, SMGs and the pistols. And eh, even the shotgun has some pretty dang nice power for uh, far range, believe it or not. But anyway, uh... The thing that I hate the most about the car is the iron sights. It really is. I don't like the sights on this thing. I never really have. Uh, it just it, there's too much going on. I'm I'm much more partial to the uh, FG42, the M1 Garand, and the uh, Mosin Nagant series. Not you, not you, one. You suck. Car 98K scope. Once again, I'm not a sniper, so I had like 20 minutes to play that. And same with the 1903 Speeding Field. Although, whenever we do get the uh, Pacific Theater, which I feel like we're going to get that in 2024, 25, since, you know, they're going by, you know, when the war went on. So I feel like we're going to get a pattern 14 Enfield when the Pacific drops. Anyway, back to the, uh, back to the tier list. 
the 1918A2 bar. This is probably one of my favorite guns in the game, if not my favorite. If it's not my favorite, it's definitely top four. Uh, 20 round mag of 30 odd six, so you're going to be able to, again, I know I'm sounding bro like a broken record, 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 kill it. Uh, kill one shot out to 150. Uh, I do have to dock points for it though. I hate, I don't, I do not like the sights on the bar. They're too chunky and they're too small for me. And, uh, even though it is very, like, they're like, as long as you have, you know, like a good sight picture of what's around it, you can ping people out to, you know, 100, 200 yards or meters, basically no problem. I just do not like, I don't like the sights. The bottom part of it's too chunky for my tastes. I wish I had the uh, 1918, like the standard bar 1918 size. That would be beautiful. Anyway, the M1A1 Thompson. I'm still not a fan of the Thompson. It's playable. It is definitely playable. I've made it work several times before. I just don't like it. Uh, it has, it, it has, believe it or not, the same fire rate as the uh, MP40, even though it kicks like 90 times harder. I am not a fan of the Thompson. I will basically always choose another gun if, if able to. Uh, for some odd reason, they chopped the top half of the sights off, so what you're left with is like a little half circle to aim with. I don't like the sights on this thing at all. I've Basically, every game i played that has a Thompson in it that has the full sights, I've loved it. This one, even though it's technically cleaner, I don't like it, and I don't know why. But, uh, combine a high recoil with eh sights and a pistol caliber. I mean, like, yeah, this thing shreds, like, out to 50-ish, 60 s meters. But after that, this thing falls off heavy. Like, yeah, you can still tap fire, but I wouldn't choose this over, like, a bar or an M1 Garand. The M1 Carbine. I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. Like, yeah, it's a carbine. It's not going to be the same thing as, like, hitting someone with an M1 Garand at, like, 80 meters. But still, I'm going to go with high playable on it. Next to no recoil on this thing. I'll give it that. It has beautiful sights. I love the M1 Carbine sights. Beautiful sights. Next to no recoil. And while it's a bigger bullet than what the Thompson fires, it's not as big as the M1 Garand. So you're getting, like, two to three shot kills out of that range. So... While it's not the worst weapon in the game, and I actually do enjoy it, I can't put it above. I can't put it anywhere above here, and I I still don't get why you know. I I wish we had the uh, paratrooper version, yeah. Although maybe when we get the uh, I think it's the hundred first airborne. When we get those cosmetics, maybe we'll get a cosmetic for the uh, M1 carbine. Who knows? That would be absolutely sick. Moving on to the M1 Garand. Uh, awesome this carry this this gun has carried me and continues to carry me through my levels and hell let loose uh amazing gun amazing sights i wish it had i mean like i know it's a no one gear so i know it's gonna have eight rounds but i just wish it had more ammo that's just the one downside like if, if you go into a situation and you're like halfway on a mag and you don't realize it and you only had have like three shots in your mag or your clip you're kind of screwed but not really but still because it has a actually decently quick reload amazing sights i and the new reload animation for this i actually really really like the reload and the new reload animation uh if i remember to in it when i'm editing this i'll uh try to put a little clip of what it used to live versus what it looks like now if i remember that is the m3 grease gun i do not have this gun yet unfortunately so i cannot rank it I wish I could, because I have seen gameplay of this, and I want to get it so bad, because it looks like it's an absolute beam, but I can't. The M97 trench gun. I'm putting this thing in good tier. This thing has this thing has range on it, man. Like, whenever you play a game, you'd expect a shotgun to, like, have decent range, but, like, not be effective past, like, I don't know, 15, 20, maybe 30 feet. I've, ha I've hit 100 meter headshots with this thing before, dude. This thing is insane. I don't know how the damage on this thing works, quite honestly. I'm not sure whether or not you have to hit a single pellet or, like, multiple pellets for a kill. But I know for a fact I've hit people at 88 and 100 meters, possibly more than 100 meters, with a headshot and killed them. However, I don't know how many pellets you need for that one-shot headshot kill at that range. That I'm not too sure of. Uh, you have, I think, six... It's either a five or six-shot tube you have on this thing. And, uh, unfortunately, you can't slam fire it. I wish you could. That would be the most satisfying spray of all time in this game, but... 
Uh, and I mean, it, I would talk about sights, but it's just like a little front dot on the gun, on the barrel. So, I mean, it, it technically has the clean sights in the game, but I'm not really considering it since it's, you know, a shotgun. You know, who's going to really ADS with this thing? I do. The MG34. It's not a bad gun by a long shot. It's, I'm putting this awesome tier. I don't exactly know how big the drum mags are on this thing. I think they're... 50 to 75 maybe 100 rounds each don't hold that to me i haven't used this thing in a while but uh really nice fire i believe it fires faster than the bar 1919 if bar 1919 yeah that's the thing the, i believe it fires faster than running 1919 but uh that's kind of what the uh, german mg is known for having like really really fast fire rates the one thing i can't stand about this gun is the sights uh you know what actually while i'm here i'm gonna just do this a lot I'm going to do in the, when I'm editing, I'll, if I can, I'm going to put a picture of the, uh, sights on this thing, like, somewhere right here, if I can, or if I remember to. If you, if you don't see a picture, I'm just going to be really awkwardly waving my finger around. <laughs> the MG42, this is, uh, this is one of the most iconic guns of all time, let alone guns in the game. Uh, I honestly think this thing has a higher fire rate than the ppsh i'm pretty sure it does and it absolutely shreds like yeah you have to get your mg class up to like it's either three or six i think but it's worth it this thing destroys people if you if you find a garrison of americans or soviets if and you have an mg42 if you don't set up just watching that thing for a spawn to come in you're doing something wrong with the mg class both of these are really good for taking out spawns. Same, same with all the LMGs in the game, except for this one. You, you, you suck. You, DP27, you, you are not good. All of these, th these three LMGs are really, really good for holding down points, for uh, suppressing enemies. Just, yeah. The Mosin Nagant 1891. We have our first bad gun on the uh, tier maker, and possibly our last one, too. I'm not too sure if the, any of these are going to make it into bad tier. Uh... Where would I start the 1891? First of all, why is it in the game? Like, yeah, I get the Russians had to pull out a lot of stuff from their armories for World War II, but why they why why give only the rifle in the 1891? Why not give them a 9130 with actual iron sights that don't look like it's a freaking flat top AK when it's not? Uh, if you can tell, I do not like the iron sights. So basically, what the iron sights look like are is it's like a little V notch, and then the front sight post. If you've ever played a uh, Hunt Showdown. You might be kind of familiar with what the uh, 1891's iron sights look like, but that's a it, the V notch on the one in Hunt Showdown, or the U notch, I think is technically would be in game. It's like 90 times wider than the one in Hell Let Loose. Whenever you aim down sights with this thing, there you do not see any space between the front sight post and the back sights or the rear sights. It is a solid piece of metal you see, and you basically have to line that up with where you think the guy's gonna be that you're trying to shoot. Uh, and I, if I'm not mistaken, this has a, a slower bolt time than every other bolt gun in the game, and I think it has a longer draw time. I think. Don't hold it to me. I know it has a slower bolt time because I've tested it, unless they've changed it recently. That is, but uh, slower bolt time, possibly slower handling time. All around this, I I do not like this thing. I don't I don't I don't get why they don't just give the rifle in class in 9130 and just take this out of the game. No one likes it. I I only the only reason I even use this is so I can get the first rifle in class with the uh, ammo box on it. The only reason I take it. The Mosin Nagant M 9130. Uh, I know I said I like the 9130, and I normally love Mosins in games. This one's dang close to me not liking Mosins in all the games I play. Uh, playable. Again, it's the sights. The sights on the Mosins in this game suck. I cannot. St We're also not ranking this one. I, I have yet to actually even play Russian Scout. I hate the sights on both the 91 and the 9130. Just something about them I don't like. I don't know what it is. But like, this one's definitely better than this one. Like, you can definitely use this and you have a little space in between the front sight posts. You can definitely use the sights on the 9130, like, better than you can the 91, but I still don't like these sights at all. The Mosinagant M38. And here we finally get the good sights. Uh, I think it's slightly different than this one, but I can't tell you how, to be quite honest with you. I just, it looks better. Uh, I believe it has a faster bolt time than every other bolt gun in the game, and it has faster handling time since it's like, you know, all of four-ish feet long. So, uh, yeah, and 
I do know that even though it has a shorter barrel, I know it has a shorter barrel than the every other bolt gun of the game. I'm not sure whether that uh, impacts its uh, kill range or not. The, I, I think this thing still one shots out to 150. The MP40. Uh, this time going above the top, so I can tell you that much. I'm putting this thing in. It's going to be very high good tier. I'm going to put it above all these. As much as I really don't want to, I kind of don't have a choice. Cause I, eh, I'm going to put it low awesome. Uh, clean sights. I really like the MP40 sights. It has a really nice fire rate. And you can keep this thing on a single point for basically your entire mag. Uh, 32 rounds of 9mm. Uh, and the Hell Let Loose wiki says this thing has the same fire rate as the Thompson. I don't believe that for a freaking second. This thing is way more controllable. And, uh, yeah. With the Thompson, I kind of struggle to make shots out to like 100, 150 meters. With the MP40, I can beam someone out at 110, like with no issue at all. Oh, that's right. I forgot this thing existed. Yeah, this thing is going in trash. I said what I said. So, before I start to hate on this thing, let me just say this. The PPSH drum mag, it's an iconic gun from World War II. And if you're in a trench running this thing... Unless the enemy can get the first shot on you and kill you in one shot, you're more than likely going to take them and whatever else is standing behind them out. This thing is an absolute demon in the trenches. On Kursk, Stalingrad, Kharkov, this thing is a monster in the trenches in close range. However, past like 15 feet, or 15-ish meters, the recoil that drum mag gives you is going to drag this thing all over your screen and you're going to be missing like 80% of your shots you fire out of this thing uh, I love the PPSH in this game don't get me wrong I love the PPSH like it's one of the best SMGs in my game in my game in the game in my personal opinion if not the best but I do not like the drum mag PPSH I have gone back to using the standard PPSH 41 and not even this is going in awesome while I do like the PPSH with the stick mags however stick mags I want to make that very clear. I like it with stick mags. Uh, you have 35 rounds with like a... If it's not a 1,000 rounds, it's somewhere in that vicinity of a 1,000 rounds. It's easy 800 plus. Uh, mags go like that. Uh, granted, it is a 35 round stick mag, so it's not 32 or 30. Like the MP40 or Thompson. If this thing had 30 rounds, god, that would be horrible. Uh way less side to side recoil the, the only reason i really don't like the drum mag on the ppsh is because it adds an ungodly amount of horizontal recoil to this thing ppsh 41 stick mag i mean yeah it has some up and down recoil but other than that there's pretty much no side to side recoil uh blisteringly fast fire rate it's basically the same gun just with a stick mag and less recoil uh i'm confident with this thing and trying to hit shots out like 80 100 meters uh now, granted, yes, you will. it's still the same damage as the MP40 and the M1A1 Thompson, for some reason, even though 762 by 25 Toker is, a, I believe, a hotter cartridge. Um, you can basically, you can clear, this This thing is amazing for clearing houses. Like, that's not, and that's not to say the MP40 Thompson, that's not to say all these guns aren't good at clearing houses, just the PPSH does better. The PTRS-41, the, uh, the thing that makes, uh pixel-sized infantry at 400 meters fly away to the moon like uh, the going on a rocket ship zooming through the sky did I really just make a little line sense reference Jesus Christ uh, I'm putting this thing in playable uh, first of all if you're shooting this thing against a tiger or a panther good freaking luck destroying that thing I don't think this thing can even destroy a tank other than like scout tanks and a panzer 2 maybe a panzer 4 if you're lucky uh but what you can do with this thing is make a freaking like basketball sized hole in some poor infantryman's chest this thing is i'm not gonna lie this is probably one of the most fun guns in the game to use against infantry if you hit someone with, with this thing not only are you going to kill him you're going to thanos snap them out of existence uh it fires I think it's like a, it's the same caliber the uh the 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 wow Jesus Christ the, it's the same caliber the uh the Dushka fires, what the caliber is I can't remember the top off the top of my head it's uh I think it's a twelve point seven round I don't remember that I think it's a twelve point seven by something round I think it's a one oh eight I want to say I could be wrong on this so don't quote me, 
it's a 1207 it's a 127 by 108 uh bullet hitting someone at well over a thousand feet per second this thing is an absolute zipper like close range this thing is dang near hit skin and if you hit someone at close range this thing their body is going to entirely disappear i cannot stress how powerful this gun is for dealing with, dealing with infantry however tanks if we were just do, if i was ranking this gun ba based off of the tank performance trash it's probably the worst weapon in the game for dealing with tanks next to artillery but that doesn't technically count uh on scout tanks and light tanks such as the panzer II, the puma and i think the panzer IV can get a decent amount of damage from this thing uh those are the only tanks in the game that are really even affected by this thing like yeah sure you can uh, mobility kill panthers and tigers by just hitting the tracks and getting a mobility kill on them but then again you're also kind of just slowing the tank down you're not really destroying it you're kind of just opening it up a opportunity window for someone with a uh, satchel or bazooka since russians now have bazookas in hello loose thankfully um and it has some clean sights too but yeah that's going unplayable the stg 44 i'm putting this thing in do i want to put an awesome yeah i do uh this is the automatic rifleman on the german side's main weapon of choice uh you do get the I want to say it's the FG-42 at rank 6. I think it's the FG... Yeah, it's the FG-42 rank 6. For whatever reason, you get an MP-40 rank 3. I don't know why you do, but you do. Uh, the STG-44... I don't actually... This this is one of the few rifles in the game that doesn't one-shot out to 150. I don't know what the one-shot kill range is on this thing, though. It fires a... Uh, it fires half, basically half of a car 98 bullet that they cut in half and you shoved a bullet into. It's like, here you go. But uh, I don't know what, what the actual kill range on this gun is. I know it's not 150. I've, I've gotten hit markers too many times for it to be 150. Uh, I'm going to take go out on a limb and say it's somewhere in the 75 to 100 meter range. Somewhere in that range. I, I can't confirm that though. But uh, decent fire rate, sluggish fire rate for, you know, what you might be used to from, you know, like an AK or an M4. But this is also hella loose. It's World War II. There weren't AKs and M4s around in, you know, 1944, 45. But, uh... It does have decent recoil. I will, I will have to say that it does have decent recoil. It will bounce if you don't control it. But, uh, and I don't know why, but you can't put this in the semi auto. I actually forgot to mention that for the bar. You can't put the uh, really fast fire rate on the bar, which I would love. That would that would be so nice. You can't put the bar in. Uh, th th this game does not have a functioning fire selector. So uh, you cannot use semi auto on the STG, even though I would absolutely love that. A Gewehr 43 with a lower recoil and a two shot kill off. Sign me up every day, man. The SVT-40. I have not gotten the chance to use this, although as soon as I do, I'm going to use it. Same with the scoped. The bazooka, I mean, both of them are awesome. They, I, As far as I'm aware, the only difference between these two is how they look. I think they have the exact same damage. They both two-shot tanks from the back at basically any range, and they do that for all the tanks. So, yeah. But I do believe that's going to go ahead and just about do it for this video, guys. Uh... If you want to go ahead and just drop a like, I'd greatly appreciate that. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, maybe drop a subscription. I do tier makers, I do FPS games, I stream, I do a lot of stuff with the channel. Uh, but until next time, guys, I will see you later. Firebrand out.